right, so um, uh, we have to wait for this. I'm not getting any closer. Don't, don't worry. My crocodiles are not statues. They're all alive. So you're going to go and pet the crocodiles in a minute, all right, just to give you a little bit of explanation of why they're here. All right, family, uh, join us so we can have a nice presentation. I guess they'll catch up. All right, so I mean, I said, um, the first thing I said is that everyone is welcome to the crocodile pool. And as you can see, these crocodiles are out here. Um, people can t people can touch these crocodiles, no problem. Um, because my crocodiles are well fed. In here, I only feed them with fish. And they're eating 250 kilos of fish in a day. And that's why they're absolutely friendly that you can them. The only crocodiles that are not happy that we can't go next to their territory are female crocodiles now. Because last week they started to lay eggs and I am taking out, I take out their eggs away. I do not want them to have babies anymore. Simple because um, I'm not having government funding here. I have to do it on my own. And the feeding is costing me I promised me about six to seven hundred dollars, almost about thirty to forty thousand Gambian dollars, just to get two hundred and fifty kilos of fish, and this is too expensive for me. That's why I'm doing the population control, and now that's why we cannot go to the female crocodile. We only stay to the male crocodiles here. But well, this place has been for more than three hundred years. It is not only just to attract people, but also this is what our ancestors were using here. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. They do come here to. Uh, to pray collectively and individually to help people to sort out their problem for the sick people, the barren women, and people that are looking for success in their life. And this place was a small hand up well, and uh, the villagers were able to access water uh, during the time only by digging well to get a clean access, uh, clean access to the clean water. So the villagers came here every day to fetch water. And a woman, one day, a woman cried to this village and said that her baby fell down to the, uh, to the well. She needs somebody to support her to get the baby out. So they sent the two boys, which are brothers. And one of them went down to the well to get the baby out. So that's where we got the name Kachikali from the Mandinka language. Kachikali, if you look at the wall there, you can see, welcome to Kachikali. And their name came from there. So the mother of the child said to these people, this place has some healing power that people can use in a beneficial, like sick people and other things that I mentioned. And also told them that <coughs> there's a crocodile here, and these crocodiles, they're totally friendly, but the people have to do everything humanly possible to respect them and preserve them here. And this is what the villagers do over 300 years to now, this crocodile fauna has been here and been preserved for that reason. Even though today is seen as one of the most attractive places, but still people come here to practice this culture here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pet this one here, one at a time. Don't touch the head, that's what they don't like, okay? We're gonna touch it from the back here like this, and you can make some pictures. You see, it's still alive. No, don't run. Right, right, don't run. It's gonna stop walking. All right, who's coming first? There you go, Mr. Yeah. Bumani. Yeah. Alright, next to come. Go for a model for the canal. Good enough. Somebody else. Grandma, you didn't get that. Grandma, take it. You got it. Everybody got it. Babies, yeah. Who else want to touch it? I want that one. Are you supposed to get on the back? Please, please. I'm just going to say, I'll be the one. That's why you're going to say, but I'm not going to say, 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 I'm
The crocodile about to bite my leg. <laughs> if I came, if I came a little closer, appreciate you. I didn't see him. <laughs> What the camera? Relax your body, relax. Yes, the calabash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Bomani, go ahead and touch again. How you doing, bro? You good? Oh yes, I'm yeah, good, man. Absolutely. I just always want to come in and support you. The last time I came to Gambia yeah. was the last time I saw you, so. Yeah, yeah. When we're back, you know, we want to make sure we keep on coming and supporting you. Yeah, thank you so much for that. And I, I, I love your, I love your presentation. You, you do a great presentation. Thank you so much. Yes, so much. it does. <laughs> You know, it's interesting how people have different careers and things, and you got to get to take care of the car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's coming for you? Right. She's fine. No, no, she stay, stay, she stay. She stay, she stay. You stay. Don't, don't need to run away. Yeah. Only don't pat it on the head. Don't touch the head. Mm. Get away from the head. Yeah, they have. Oh, okay. Yeah, just the weight. Yeah, that's the weight. And that's like a trophy, really. And that's a five in the front. And three of the five, two of them, three of them got nails. She had to dig more to the end. And the two doesn't get it. The females are all the side of the I don't want to see them. I just want to see them. They're all the side of the coast. How did they make it? They're made in the water. And then the female will be down and the male will be up. But they split the tail so that she's able to make it. Thank you. Okay, we're acting. Go back up. Don't Remember, they can run. Remember, they can run fast. Yo, back up, back up. Remember, if a crocodile is chasing you, run up on a tree, jump, run up, run, up, jump up the tree. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna close my eyes. Come on, touch it. I don't think I can. Go ahead, Chris. Just touch it. Touch it. All right. Okay. No, I'm alright. Just touch it. Just touch it. Just touch it. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I'm it's coming for you. It's coming for you. It's behind you. It's behind you. It's behind you. Oh, this one is coming for you. They are going back. Got the mouth open. He's ready. He's taking air. He's ready. When they open their mouth, they're taking air. He's ready for feeding. Yes. Who are we going to sacrifice? Uh, Hello? Go by size. <laughs> I think they like white meat. The youngest. 
<laughs> they like white. They like white meat. I would that. I would that. You go, Monty. She said, "This is touch it. Stop being a no, 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 touch it, touch it, touch it." She said, "This is fun." It's like a kiss. Hold the tail. Hold the tail. You don't like you on the back. Yeah, look like he real. Well, but Mike said he wanted to move some of the weight for the ride back. So we want to go see right. You have a good time, right? Don't you love this? So here, everybody, um, this is the book that we sold to the visitors. Um, that I ask for people helps and support towards the feeding of a crocodile. <laughs> if anybody wish to support anything, uh huh. Yeah, you can write down the names, country, any support you want to help towards the feeding. <coughs> You know, really be needing that Okay, what I do? Do you want to cut? Okay, it's $15. I'm going to go to the Okay, okay. 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 A cool be watch about this one behind you. I don't give up easy. Watch it. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank the one that destroyed the body. Thank you. 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 Look at the fruit on the tree. So, yeah, calabash. Don't let it drop and hit you in the head. Because calabash both I have one at home. Right. That's a yes. 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 Drawing. That thing's heavy. It's Oh, I don't have that. So that's the 